Hello everybody and welcome to Acad Guild. My name is Pavan Lalwani and the instructor for Microsoft Excel. In this video we'll learn about the next topic named as subtotal. Subtotal basically will not calculate any function but it can be a good replacement for all the functions what we have seen. You can work with this sum, sum if, sum ifs. We can count, count a. I mean, many functions can be replaced with this subtotal part. Okay, so let us see practically how it can save our time. Now I'll go to the sheet where it is written as subtotal. Okay, that's a subtotal sheet. Now I'll give you a sh one shortcut method. If you want to jump to any sheet from your main sheet, so you can see on the left hand side corner bottom, I can right click on this place and I'll be getting this window here. Once again. You see these two arrows are given, small arrows. You can just right click on any one arrow and you'll be getting this dialog box. This dialog box will give you names of all the sheets into your workbook. So if I ask you to go to any sheet, let's say subtotal, you have to just select the subtotal sheet and click on OK. And then you'll be navigated to that subtotal sheet itself. Now this sheet has some random data. If you observe, Basically, this data belongs to some sales company where they have done sales based on the region. You can see that's a region column. Different sales representative have done to different clients and different products. They have the COGs and the sales given into their columns. Now, this sales are categorized based on the different dates on, you know, on which dates they have done the sales part. Now, what I want to do is I want to calculate the subtotal of, let's say, some column. I am a manager of a company. I want to find out which region has given me how much sales. So basically I can say I want subtotal based on region wise. So remember uh, the steps are only two steps are there. The very first step is if you want a region subtotal that regions column should be sorted out either in ascending or descending order. So if I want to sort this column, okay, the region column, we have a shortcut method. You can simply right click on this column, any cell, you can keep your cursor in that column, any cell, right click, select the option as sort and you can select sort A to Z or Z to A, any one option. That's the first step if you want to go for subtotal. So the column is sorted out. Step number two is you can go to data tab, click on subtotal on the extreme right hand side corner and you'll be getting this dialog box. Now when do you want the subtotal so first thing is i want the subtotal in the region column okay for the region column after row number let's say eight after row number eight when all the midwest gets completed i want midwest subtotal after north i want north subtotal after northeast i want northeast subtotal so here i can say the first option it says at each change in I, I will say as whenever the region changes, I want the subtotal. So I have to select as region. Remember whatever column you have sorted that you have to take as at each change in particular column. Now, which function do you want? Do you want the sum, count, average, minimum, maximum, product and so on. So there are various functions. You can search on those functions. Right now, I want only the subtotal sum. I'll be using the sum function. In this entire data, you can only calculate sum of two numbers, two columns. One is COGs and second is sales. So from this boxes, you can select COGs and sales and then you can click on OK. So carefully observe what we have done is we have selected the region column because we have sorted that. We have selected the sum function and we have selected those columns where numerical values are present. Click on OK. Now you can see the values have been displayed here. But what you can see here is, you can see there's a Midwest total. You can see there's a North total. If I scroll down somewhere, I'll be getting Northeast, Southeast, West total. And finally, I'll be getting a grand total. I did not demand for the grand total, but I'm getting a grand total by default here. So subtotal for all the regions and the grand total. Now, if my manager says, I do not want to see the details, just give me the subtotal. So on the left hand side corner, if you see the records have been grouped into different sections here, if I click on the one, okay, if you see, I'm getting only the grand total. Okay. You can see the grand total is how much $93,179.
if I click on this two button here, okay, I'll be getting all the subtotals of all the region. So for Midwest, North, Northeast, Southeast. Remember previously we have seen how to get this subtotal, you know, some other example using sum if function. Same way sum if count if this functions can be avoided and you can use this subtotal itself. If you want to understand the details about north region, north total, or let's say northeast total, you can select this northeast and click on this plus sign. So when you click on this plus sign, that particular record, okay, the subtotal would be expanded and you can get the details about that total. That means which region, what date and who has done the sales. Okay, and more details you can find out. If you want the entire details of all the records, okay, you can click on this three button on the left hand side corner so if you press 3 all the rows would be expanded okay nothing would be grouped here so let us see again if i click on 1 i'll be getting grand total click on 2 subtotal and 3 i'll be getting all the details itself. now the last step is if i do not want the subtotal if i want to remove the subtotal i'll go back to this subtotal button here at the bottom left hand side corner you can see there's a button named as remove all click on remove all and it will come back to the normal position. So this is how you can work on subtotal. Let us try one more example. I want to find out the subtotal based on the sales representative. So what I can do is the first step remember that's very important. People forget this step every now and then. Right click on the sales rep column anywhere. Sort it into ascending or descending. Go to data tab, click on subtotal. Select the column from here as sales rep because after every sales rep changes, I want the subtotal. I want to calculate sum and I want the COGs and sales as sum. Finally, I can click on OK button. So here if you observe, I'm getting the sales rep total, the subtotal. So I'll click on 1, I get grand total. Click on 2, I'll be getting all the sales rep subtotal. If I click on 3, I'll be getting the entire total or you can say all the records in detail. And if I want to remove the subtotal, we have an easy method. I'll go to subtotal, click on remove all. Okay. And I'll be getting the normal data itself. So I hope you have understood how to work on this subtotal where we can avoid different functions. That's all for this video. A cat killed. Average is dead.